Hi there, once again, good evening and welcome to Godzilla, the making. Well, before I proceed, I will hold no responsibilities if you get hurt, okay? I'm just trying to show you how I actually do my cables, or should I say sleeving my SATA cables using UV sleeves. Now, first of all, you will need apparatus, or should I say you will need uh, equipment like a lighter, a pair of scissors, a pair of uh, long banded nose uh, pliers and rulers, your SATA cable and of course the UV sleeves. First of all before you start probably you will need to have um, the uh, rubber string cut alright it is actually to secure the both ends of your SATA cable okay holding the uh, UV sleeves. Now this is how, how I actually do it I measure it alright uh, about 3 cm okay and cut it once you cut it, you will have two nice fitting uh, rubber strings. Now, to proceed on, all you need to do is actually to pull your SATA cable flat on the ground, okay, and unroll the uh, UV sleeves, measuring from the tip of the uh, first end of the SATA cable to the end of the other end. Next, okay, giving some slacks, okay, please do not cut exactly where the black portion is, okay, I can't show you here, but just remember, give some slacks because UV sleeves are kind of like um, stretchable, so um, they might not be enough to cover the whole SATA cable. So do remember, leave some slacks. Now, once you have decided the length that you want, just cut it, okay? And you have both ends like that, all right? Showing you on this clip. And please, do some burning at the ends, okay? And why do I say so? We are gonna show you on this clip here, okay, as you can see. One end that I have burned, alright, I've tapped it, and when I stretch it, it doesn't go messy. And on the other end, okay, if I were to stretch it, see, there's so much flims coming out. And it's kind of like, you know, messy, untidy, alright, so do remember. Now, next off, probably you will need to actually um, use your long nose pliers, okay, open up the uh, small ends, okay, and fit in your SATA uh, plugs okay in because it's kind of hard so with this I'm able to actually fit that in and it goes nicely like that alright now having this end like that please do not push the uh, sleeve okay and force it into the SATA cable it will damage your sleeve alright so I'm gonna show you how I do, do it on this clip as you can see there's only two motion push and pull push and pull and there you have it nicely done sleeve that you can actually see from here all right both ends nicely leaving some gaps okay this is actually the whole sleeve now next off probably you might be saying that hey the uh, rubber strings is actually kind of like or should i say rubber strings is kind of like hard to actually get into the uh, head of the uh, sata cable right because they are not removable so what do i actually do just grab hold of your pliers, or should I say the uh, bare nose pliers, okay, and stretch the string. See, just like that. All right. And once you have done that, okay, you will probably have two, okay, which I'm going to show you here. All right. This is actually one that I've done um, stretching it. The other is not, okay, the original size. So please stretch it both. And as you can see here, I can actually just easily fit into the uh, head. Okay, without any having problems. I'm actually using one hand and the other hand with the camera. So, there you go. Nice and easy. Two strings right into the cable. Now, next, you will need to actually, uh, you know, hold the uh, two rubber string tightly and to hold the uh, UV uh, sleeves tightly bonded to your SATA cable, right? So, what are you going to do? Well, for me, I prefer to use a lighter compared to uh, how should I say? Compared to a uh, hair dryer because it's much quiet and uh, please do take note, alright? If you're using lighter, please do not, do not overburn the string, okay? As uh, it might just burn off and it will be very messy. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. This is actually how I do it, alright? Take a look. Alright, first of all, you just adjust it to the tip, uh, make sure that it's actually, you know, flushed. Then using a lighter, slowly, gently. Alright, just go against the edge and once you're done with one side, turn it over the other side and string it again. 
So slowly, momentally, and once you have done right, you be prob you should be probably getting a very nice uh, hole at the end on both ends. So do this on both ends, okay? And the end product, all right, will be like that. See, nice and easy. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this and hope that it did guide you on how to actually do your sleeves properly. And by then, this is actually Peter here signing off from Godzilla, the making. Take care, goodbye.